Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to share a story with you that happened to me, what was it, last night? Yeah. Anyway, night before last, I could not, last night, you know how it is when you get old, I couldn't get to sleep. Now, I sleep like a log. I never have a problem going to sleep. And I never have belly aches. But my stomach was flipped upside down, y'all. I mean, I had broccoli, mushrooms, broccoli and mushrooms, three times. Now, normally I only eat twice a day, once or twice a day. But this time I ate three times. And it was broccoli and mushrooms each time. Now, the thing that got me was that's basically all I had besides a few nuts, a few pistachios. And the thing that gets me is when I went to go to bed, I could not get comfortable. I kept twisting and rocking and trying to jiggle out. I thought I was full of gas. I don't know what. You know how it is when they say you're full of hot air. <laughs> well, I think I, I knew I was full of something. <laughs> but anyway... So here I was, y'all, stop, stop, stop. Anyway, here I was hurting. And I, I finally, after an hour and a half, two hours of laying there dealing with that, I got up out of the bed, went downstairs to the living room, sat in the recliner and rocked and wiggled and rocked and did all my gyrations trying to get the pressure off. It was right up in here. So... I thought to the Lord, I said, Lord, up and out is better than down and in. If it takes that, I want instant relief. And within, a, at least within, I would say no more than 60 seconds, I started feeling that icky, nauseated feeling. And I jumped up and dashed over to the restroom and leaned over. And within 30 seconds, up and out it came, just like that. Instant relief. I mean, God answered my prayer within seconds, you guys. I could almost say within minutes, maybe two, three. But he answered my prayer just like that. And I felt, I mean, it, it took me about maybe 10 minutes for, for my stomach to totally settle. But I mean, instantly after I got through and I knew I was through and nothing else coming out but bubbles after that. And here's when I knew it was indigestion. The food that I had eaten five hours prior came up just like I ate it. It was not like what you would expect to look at. It was I'm looking at my food. The green broccoli. I mean, it was it was weird. But anyway, what I want to say about that is I knew God had done it because I didn't break out in a sweat. I didn't get all shaky. You know how we do when we up chuck. I went to the kitchen. I got a glass of water. And I said, now I just want to coat my stomach with something. And I drank water and I dashed back to the bathroom just in case it was going to come up too. No problem. Stayed down. I just drank water the rest of the the next hour until sleep hit me like a ton of bricks and I'll out like a light right back in bed for the rest of the night or the rest of the morning. But anyway, I just want to share how I just so appreciate how much God takes care of this little idiot. <laughs> he takes care of me. And, you know, when a lot of you see uh, us talk on YouTube or any other um, media trying to encourage you to give God a chance you know my mother and father are, are dead and gone my husband is gone I have nobody but me especially in these midnight hours but one thing I do have I always have God I am never alone I never feel alone you know, that's a beautiful feeling to know God is with you 24-7, accessible, paying undivided attention. 
I mean, that's the way it feels. To hear him answer prayers and, and give you insights and show you things in your dreams and talk to you through scripture. Only God can do that, you guys. God is real. He is a very present help in times of need. <laughs> Please reconsider giving him a shot. That'll be the best choice you ever made in your life.